So glad we could put it together and welcome very much to our set. It's a great Thank pleasure you. to welcome you and everything. And uh, in, in, the, uh, in the audience, welcome very much to the conversation. A great pleasure to welcome to the program Mariano Abeno. He's a director and a film writer uh, from Italy originally, but he's been living in various parts of the world and is very engaged in the world of, uh, of filmmaking. And we're going to be talking about his own life story and about the, uh, the filmmaking and the arts and so forth. And uh, Mariano, welcome very, very much to the conversation. Yeah, thank you very much for, for inviting me. I'm very like happy to, say, to be here. I would like to say the outset that our mutual friend Coral Coralina had recommended you to me, and I'm so pleased that yes. she did. She's a wonderful talent. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I'm, I, you know, she, I'm sure she'll be mentioned many times during this, uh, <laughs> this hour because, you know, we, we also we also sort of collaborated at That's various times, and you know we've written two, two things together. You know, yeah, the latest thing, a great screenplay that we just finished. So wonderful! I want to talk about that, right. but I wonder if you could, because I read a little of your bio, and it's very interesting. And you're apparently out of uh, out of uh, Italy, uh, yes. from Naples. Naples. Right? Yeah. And so, so share your background. Born and raised a little bit, a little of your education. And then we're going to talk about. We want to, this will be the Mariano Baino, Baino hour, but, uh, and then we want to talk about film, we're going to show a couple of clips, okay. but share your own background, born and raised, and a little of the education. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah, I was born in Naples, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, sort of like, it's a very interesting place to, to go and visit, but it's definitely you know, not the type of place where, at least for me, you mm. want to just stay for too long. So yeah, that, that we could develop that really. Why is that? I mean, what makes it that way? Because that's in the south of Italy. Right. The difference I mean, between a, the south and north of Italy, Milan and Genoa, yes. is different I mean, it's than a, you know, I mean, maybe the, the difference is slightly exaggerated because you know Italy is like chaotic wherever you go. Yeah, but uh, yeah. but you know everything is very extreme in Naples. Like extreme. You know, whatever, absolutely. I mean whatever. Well, Whatever sort of like characteristics you would get in other parts of Italy, uh -huh. be it in the people or in the way the city works, oh basically really? in, in, in Naples becomes, it's sort of like it all becomes heightened and very extreme and so you get more chaos, more, <laughs> more disorder, more like, you know, b uh. basically, I mean, for me, yeah. I spent, when I was growing up, I mean, I went uh, to England uh, soon after high school. I know, so, I heard, yeah. Um, but when I was growing up, I sort of like, you know, I, I, I just, I was the only one. I got my driving license in Naples, mm. which basically cured me of every, of any desire to drive forever and ever. In fact, I mean, as soon as I left Naples, I never touched the car again. Why? And to this day, I, it, oh, it, I, oh my God, it's like, you know, basically everyone imagines traffic or chaos. I yeah. mean, you know, you, you, you see New York, everyone says, oh, you know, there's traffic. I mean, you never see anything <laughs> until you rush with being to really? Naples. I mean, really? It, uh, yeah. my, Every yeah. man for himself, kind of thing, or something. Well, but, but more than yeah. that, I yeah. mean, my the, the way I used to I used to compare it to to driving in a, a live video game. So oh, basically, I see. Yeah. basically, you never know who's coming around the corner. Like everyone <laughs> is sort of like boom, sort of wheezing in front of you. Everyone is going in every possible <laughs> way available <laughs> on the on the on the on the sidewalk. Uh, yeah. You know, no traffic lights concepts. So like the concept of a red light is really? completely. Uh, foreign to them, uh, and in fact, when I when I got my driving license, I was the only one that I would stop at the red light, <laughs> and basically I would spend my time maybe with everyone honking behind honking. me. What the hell are you stopping for a I'm red just light thinking, for? Uh, excuse yeah, me, really? there's the red light. Oh, you're, I, you're giving me, me the scene. It's like it's re it could be exciting in a way, well, in, a, in no, an no, anarcho no, kind see, of but, way, right? Well, yeah. absolutely, yeah. It, it's exciting if you look at it from the outside. Yeah. So if you watch it in a movie, yeah. It's actually very exciting. Well, if you're in it, a good place to make movies. Maybe. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. In, in a way, mm -hmm. but once again, mm -hmm. it would be a great place to make movies if the chaos, <laughs> yeah. that's sort of like the rains in the place, yeah. wouldn't prevent you from doing anything. Uh -huh. So in reality, I mean, you know, in a way, I would love to. Now, why would it make be? If I may, there, just think about it, because you were born and everything. Is it? Is there a tie to Sicily? Is there a tie to the Mediterranean? Or what makes it that way? Let's say until the sedate, you know, Milano. It's well, different, I, or I mean, wrong. I, I think you know. What do you? I, how, how do we account I, for the south of Italy being so I, unique? I, well, I think partly it's definitely historical. Yeah. Because you know, uh, although Italy has been invaded millions of yes, times right, everywhere, right, right. but the south of Italy has had more invasions than most places. Really? Okay. So in a way, mm. uh, you you get you got like a, a continuous sort of like changing of the guard. Yeah. Uh, right. Which developed. You know some of the good characteristics mm -hmm. as well. They're very, like you know, in the south of Italy, they're actually much 
very mentally agile, but sometimes they don't use it the right way. <laughs> so, so mentally, yeah. Oh, absolutely, because yeah. you know they're yeah. so used to having to adapt uh -huh. continuously. Adapt to other chaotic absolutely. things that are going on in action all the time. So Keep you right so on your toes. Absolutely, yeah. but the, the problem mm. is that with that also, I think the climate has actually got something to all do. All right, it. it's warmer. Absolutely, yeah, and yeah. I think that makes you more lethargic in uh, general okay. and less sort of like you know. So in a way, you get to call the climates you get more efficient, uh -huh. uh, but sometimes sort of like you get, you become colder as mm. well emotionally. Yeah, but the Italian so, uh, Italian culture as a whole is such a wonderful thing. I just love the Italian culture going to Italy. I love that spontaneity and, and lively. Yeah. They're lively <laughs> and they're real and they're human. They're not all polite, you know? I mean, you know what I mean? Right, but there's, but, a, you know, there's a liveliness to the Italian character that I think is really uh, very, Amable, they say in Spanish, but I like it a lot, you know. Right. Well, yeah. Yeah, you, yeah. you know, it's uh, it's like with everything. The thing that makes some certain things great, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's exactly the same characteristic that then becomes the downfall. Because those are characteristics. Yeah. Those are characteristic of the artistic process in a way too, or Absolutely. intellectual process, right? But, but in yeah. fact, you know, I mean, mm. it, 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 you know, it's not uh, it's not an accident that uh, you know a lot of people, like a lot of artists in Italy, do come from the south. And, you know, Is that a fact? Really? Well, yeah. Filmmakers, you know, I mean, One especially now. Florence, there was a lot went on. Well, in Florence. But, but you see, but that was uh, that was that like was a long time ago. Yeah, exactly. right, yeah, right. And uh, you know, mm. the system was completely different. Yeah, and yeah. in a way, there was a, a system of patronage yeah. that basically worked. For, it seems to me every piece time. of food you get anymore in an American grocery store has something to do with Tuscany. They use the name <laughs> Tuscany for some reason because I guess it's a brand or something for food. Well, I mean, but as yeah. opposed, it's, it's trendy. It's got an air of sophistication. Oh right. Maybe yeah. slightly yeah. more. It, yeah. it sort of like reminds you of the rolling hills of Tuscany, <laughs> yeah. which in a way is like the, the place where, yeah. especially a lot of Anglo-Saxon yeah. people like to go. Yeah, holiday, so like I guess that's like how it. it worked into our uh, menu. Absolutely, yeah. it's like you know, anyway. So you were born, raised there, and then your and your family was your family intellectually oriented. What were they up to? Were you encouraged in the arts? I know you oh. went to you went to high school there in in Italy. Yes, or, yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I know. Well, my uh, my parents were the most encouraging parents in the world. Wonderful, they still are. wonderful. Uh, but they didn't have anything to do with the, with the art the world or the old cinema. I mean, my my father was a. Uh, in the Metropolitan Police, mm -hmm. and uh, my mother was a, a, a manager in a sort of like in a, an, a well, the Italian aerospace sort of like uh, aerospace uh, yeah, industry, uh, right? yeah. yeah. And uh, so, so she was a, a career woman before career women really ever existed. Oh, okay. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. and my father, just like you know, he was a uh, he, he was in the good in spirit the, in the metro I mean, in the Metropolitan Police. And he was and encouraging you, said encouraging oh, yeah, I mean, you intellectually. I, encouraging oh, absolutely. And I mean, in the yeah, sense, okay. like you know, whatever whatever came to my head. Right. It was like it, there was Go never a doubt it. of like. Go for oh, it. Oh right? yeah, I mean, yeah. No, no. Maybe you shouldn't do this. It's like you know. That's good. Which uh, I think that's good, don't you? Oh, Let absolutely. the kids go for it because the kids oh, have such a great consciousness. Seems to me, five year olds are so gorgeous. You know. No, no. Yeah. Absolutely, and I mean it's like you know in reality in reality it's like you know it's one of those things where i don't know why i woke up when i was uh, when i was around eight i mean before i turned eight yeah and i thought okay i know what i'm going to do i'm going to make films yeah you heard but i read in your bio you wanted to get an eight millimeter camera yeah, i think because your dad my father, helped you or yeah, something. yeah because my that's father, a great I, scene from a movie they should make a movie about well, your life yeah, I, yeah. I, I think filmmakers sometimes when they make those movies, those autobiographical movies yeah. they tend to do that yeah one. right i think they do they <laughs> are they fit it in right they, they yeah, tend they to do. do that one yeah, because in a way it's the, like you know it's a yeah it informs the intellectual process of right what you're absolutely and i mean the the but uh, it was true you wanted to get an eight millimeter film. Well, basically, I just thought, okay, I'm going to make films. Yeah. Now my father had At this eight, eight mm Yeah, my mm. father had this eight millimeter camera, mm. and he, he then used for like you know the holiday videos yeah, and right, all that right, stuff. Right, right, right. And I thought, oh, you know, I want I want the camera, I want the camera. And my yeah. father told me, okay, if you get good grades uh -huh. at the end of the year. Uh, uh, you know, I was at elementary school, but yeah, you know, yeah. in Italy at the time you had a system of, of numbers. Okay. Like six was just enough to pass the grade. Ten was the top I see. mark you could get. Uh, I see. Yeah. So, yeah. so basically, at that point, I said, okay, if you get good grades, well. Uh, I'll give you this camera. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the year, I got all ten in every single subject. Ten, Did you ten, really? All the way? Is, were you? Uh, were they? Are they specialized in that? Were you doing mathematics? Yeah. Because okay, wait even a minute, in eight. 
You would only be in eight years school. old. You'd be in the, what would be like the third grade yeah. here. And, that would be very young. Yeah. In Italy, in primary school, you yeah. do get you do get sub various subjects as well. So you do get like you know art, uh, uh, Italian, uh, you know. Can maths. you remember back when you were eight what you cottoned to, as they say in the South? What were you scientific inclined? Did you no. like math? Did you like no. reading? I, mean, I, I like thought like you know when I was eight. Fortunately, I was good at all of them. Apparently, got but, all tens. Right, but, no. but but definitely I was much more sort of like you know inclined towards like you know the, the art. art and yeah. literature. Yeah. Right. I mean, yeah. I thought like in the end when I went to high school, I went mm. to in Italy. You. You, you, you have to choose your direction when you go to high school. Right? Oh, you do? Okay. So the, you can go to the scientific, yeah. sort of like school, that's interesting. or you can go to the classics, or there's the technical school, or there's art school. So Those four are right, the main yeah, there, there, There's basically four main directions. When we were in high school, uh, uh, we used to have college preparatory and then technical. Right. You know? That's what they had in high school. But right. you had a four division. You not only had a division, the college... Right, basically you could go to like, art it's called, uh, or yeah. what were you? What were the four? It's well, you could go to art school. You yeah. could go to the classic, the, the classic. Liceo classic. They, they encourage like, the, the classics. Like I right. understand, you had to you studied ancient Greek. Right. So yeah, basically, okay, that's what I that's what I ended up doing because yeah. I, I I sort of like I I toyed with the idea of going to art school because yeah. I was always sort of like quite t naturally. You go into high drawing. school around the age eighteen or sixteen or seventeen. No, like no. That? You you go basically in Italy. No, you get no, middle no. School. Fifteen or something. Yeah. Yeah. You go at middle school. No, you're thirteen. You start. Okay, high school. it's like here. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. And uh, and basically at that point I thought, okay, it's scientific. By that time, by the age of thirteen, I'd realized that maths was not my. Math was not. No. Math. W w was not my my. Uh, my no, no, definitely yeah. was not uh, the thing I should be doing. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, so. So I, you know, I wanted to go to art school, but you know, I had an art teacher that. Did you get a ten in the thing when you were talking with your dad in math? Oh yeah, no, no, no absolutely. Well, that was like arithmetic. School, that elementary was school, I was, I was okay. Elementary Even in school, math, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Middle did, school, I was okay in everything. When did you find out then, you weren't suited for math? Ooh, yeah. about the the about, about 13, twelve, yeah, 12, 13, 13. Okay. I thought, okay, mm, that, and in fact, high school <laughs> my, my, definitely like confirmed. This was all in uh, in, in general. general. Or Naples, Naples, I mean, yeah. Naples, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah right, okay. So, yeah. yeah, so, and, uh, so basically, I sort of like, you know, I I went to study sort of classics, basically you study literature and philosophy and, uh, you know, history. And, Latin, uh, and, and, and basically two ancient languages, which basically for, for the whole five years of school, I kept thinking, okay, why, why? Are, why are we doing this? But and, you uh, didn't do algebra? Uh, yes, yeah, we did. You did. You yeah, had to do well, algebra. No, no, all those you have to do those as well. But in yeah, a way, yeah. there's less concentration yeah, less on those I see, Right, it's more or less like here. Right. It seems like, except you right. get that four-way division. That's interesting. Yeah. Right. And the uh, classics. Yeah, we had to do Latin, all those irregular uh, verbs, okay. and all that stuff. <laughs> and who but, the hell remembers? No. Or I was very embarrassed. My son came. Uh, he came back with the algebra, and he said, "I got a problem with an, uh, you know, with a with an equation or something." Right. He said, "Could you help me out?" I he might as well have been kept telling me Greek. I had no <laughs> idea what to do with it at all. all right, but, so, okay. you, so you know, so you know, yeah, I know what I'm talking I mean. about. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. So anyway, you got interested, and then you got that film uh, thing. One of the problems is you're too interesting. That's your problem. You should try and key down a little bit. You know, right. you're being from <laughs> I and mean, everything. But and we've only got a limited time. Right. But I know you went and spent after university, I guess, or high school. Right. You went to London apparently, right. right? Yes. And that, and then we got some clips we got to show, so we got to get it all okay. into the hour. Okay. You see? But right. yeah, fill us in. What caused you to go to London? And you were there for 20 years? Right, yeah. Right so I, mean, I, I always knew I was going to leave Naples. I mean, you I knew did. that, you I knew that when, I was a, when I was a child you know, uh -huh. at Naples. I mean, I always, like, you know that they tell you that the stork brings the babies, yeah. right? So I, I always thought that uh, the, the, the stork had dropped me in the wrong place. I always thought, <laughs> okay, wait a second. I'll have to try and find where, yeah. where I'm supposed to end up in the London, end. here I come. Uh, Did you have a view for London, or was that some place that people wanted to go? Or no, what? I mean, but, but the first time I you just went there on holiday the during the... Berlin, the yeah. No, I mean, I, 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 sort of like, I always thought I was going to end up in Rome, because in Italy, yeah. basically, that's where... Yeah, the, all roads lead but, to. Happy but but at the same yeah. time, I sort of like, you know, I, I went... I went uh, I went to London uh, on holiday during the summer, uh -huh. and sort of like you know, and then I went back, and then in a way, it sort of like it always seemed like a good, 
a good, uh, uh, you know, London, I always, I always say it's like, you know, it's, it's not very a, orderly compared to oh, Absolutely. Naples. So, in a way, <laughs> oh, oh, but, 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 in fact, but in fact, that was, the, that was a, a yeah, part of attraction. the attraction. Yeah, right. That yeah. in a way, like, I could actually... <laughs> Sanity. I, I could actually queue Order. for things. And <laughs> they, people... They like to queue, I think. Not anymore, unfortunately. No, no, no. Uh, oh, they used but, to, yeah. But, you know, the, uh, the, the sort of like, uh, the first time I went there was like the... the Mid, mid to late 80s, uh -huh. and you know, it was still very much like the old vision of England. Yeah, you know? right, right. It was still yeah. like people were still queuing for things, and it was still rather so enjoying the queue, yeah. uh, right? Yeah, and for, so for me, yeah. it was like, okay, great, yeah. now yeah. I can queue, and then when yeah. it's my turn, I can get yeah. my stuff yeah. instead of like queuing, yeah. like I used to do in Naples, and everyone jumping saying, in front of me. What's going to come around the corner, right. <laughs> like and, in Naples, and, and me yeah. sort of waiting for two hours yeah. and not getting anything, yeah, right. So, so. So basically, it's like you know, and uh, and I started making movies there. Yeah, you and, made uh, movies. Did you do university? Did you do university study? No, that? no you didn't. You no, didn't no. do university at no. all. Okay, good. Okay, you no. jumped right into making right, movies. Yeah, right? and I mean, sort of like you know, I had a, I had a, but I sort of like you know, fortunately, when I made, uh, I made sort of like two short, short films, mm -hmm. quite soon after moving to London. They sort mm -hmm. of like you know, they went really well. They played a lot of festivals. They sort of like you know, they. They they were sort of like they started getting some critical sort of like you know notices. Did you uh, still have your eight millimeter camera from your dad, or had you picked up other cameras along the way? Had uh, you done some filming down in Italy oh, when well, you're coming all that? You know, you didn't just get off a boat and make a movie. No, 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 but, no. But, but but when I you know obviously mm -hmm. I I did I made some films when I was a child. You but did, I mean yeah. I sort of like you know with the eight millimeter camera, my brother yeah. playing the act. My brother sort of like <laughs> was was the actor. <laughs> I remember we made our first film Tarzan. Yeah, Tarzan. Yeah. I mean, when I was a child, I was a great. Thousand fans, so uh -huh. thousand when, and my brother Johnny was six. Johnny Weissmiller. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> mm. and uh, and basically uh, they, there's a. Uh, my brother was six, and mm. uh, you know he was playing Tarzan, mm. and a friend of ours was playing, uh, you know. The, Jane? The, no, no, no. A friend of ours was playing the the, the enemy, like oh, you know, the oh, one. Oh, yeah, you have to have a like, protagonist. Yeah, uh, well, you have to have sort of like you know this this sort of like guy that we dressed with feathers in the, in his head, like to try and make him look. Yeah. Sort of like as if he was from somewhere vaguely. Doing the makeup yourself. Yeah. yeah uh, and the set design. Yeah. And, and, and uh, well, yeah, and and the uh, uh, and the costumes. Make, you made it leopard skin. Yeah, the, absolutely. The, the, the short yeah. pants. Yeah, 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 right, yeah, yeah absolutely. Right. We cut oh, them yeah, and yeah. we sort of like we painted them with leopard skin pattern. Yeah. And and so. Do you have that? Do you have that? No, no, no. Oh, no, that's a shame. No, I, I, yeah. so, I, mean, I, I, I think I think when I was about 13, I planned this big epic. I had all my friends like, oh, we're going to make this film. Mm. Then as soon as we, we used to make the films during the holidays, mm. during the, the summer holidays. Mm. So basically at that well, point... you weren't studying all those irregular verbs. Right, exactly. Yeah, and, right. Uh, and, and basically at that point we would, we, uh, you know, we would go to holiday, uh, on holiday and basically at that point... After about a couple of days, everyone wanted to go and enjoy themselves. Yeah, so that right, would be the yeah. only one still. Oh, we got to make the film. <laughs> yeah, right. So, so soon after a few days, everyone had abandoned me, and I've yeah. been left with this film <laughs> unfinished. And and I think I got into yeah, a, yeah. I, I got into such a strop about it that in a way I sort of like I thought, okay, that's it. I, I I think I suspect because I looked for those films later on in life. Yeah, yeah. And but I suspected I had a moment when I took all these films and I threw them away in no. a fit of uh, because I th because I said okay I will never make another film until I can do it properly. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, so so basically I just like waited. You didn't I link think. up with anybody of those young ages down at the, with, they were into film buffs and that kind of making films. Other people that. No, right? but, but, but there but is a camaraderie among the people uh, who do filmmaking absolutely. and everything. But you got into that when you got up in London. And yeah, no, yeah, but right. definitely. Okay. I mean, yeah. It's like you know when, when you know when I moved to London, I thought like I thought okay, I, I, I did the famous low budget filmmaking thing. Mm. Okay, what do I have? Mm. So at the time, I sort of like as soon as I moved there, I sort of like got myself a, a job in a cinema. Okay, that uh, so I, I was in working a, in, in the a box movie office. house that shows yeah, yeah, film. Yes. Yeah. And Project, I was, pro projectionist or something. No, no, no. I, I, no. Was, I was in the box office. So, about, so, oh, yeah, right, right. And, uh, so basically, I thought, That's okay. an entry, yeah. I, I, no, but I thought, all right. Apart from that, it was a great job. It was a very flexible. Like, you, you sort of, like, you know, he would work long hours, but in a way, he would only work, like, three or four days a week. And, mm -hmm. like, you know, and so you had, like, some time to do your other stuff. Yeah, right. Uh, so at that point, I thought, okay, what do I have? And... Okay, well, maybe I can convince him to make, let me use the cinema during the night. Okay. Uh, maybe I, so I just like collected all the, the resources I had, yeah, and I thought, okay, what, sto yeah. what, what stories, what story can I actually come up with that, yeah. that can use these resources? Start writing, starting a screenplay thing. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So basically, at that point, you know, that I wrote this short yeah. movie uh -huh. where I could use all this stuff. I convinced the people uh, uh, that own the cinema to actually make me use the, the. 
the, the location and you know yeah, that's we got be. together like you know uh, a crew of people and you know we shot the film I mean at the time also it was slightly not as easy as it is now because yeah. the tools were not as readily available. Right, right. I mean, that was like 92. You edit with Steenbeck or something? Or oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean but it, even up to my feature film, I yes. was still editing on film, uh -huh. uh, which I thought was a great training anyway. I mm -hmm. mean, it's just like, mm -hmm. you know, now I actually, I love editing. Yeah, it translates it, even into the digital. I absolutely. Think. You know, the, the, I mean, the aesthetic is there, yeah. Absolutely. And yeah. it's in a way like, you know, also you... In a way, the fact that you know you got to commit to the cut, yeah, much much more mm -hmm. than, of course, you know, film was always non-linear. Everyone yeah. talks about non-linear editing, yeah, but, right. uh -huh. but it, film was always non-linear editing. Okay. I mean, okay. yeah. the linear editing only came in when video first came in, and uh -huh. you had tape to tape editing. Yeah, right, right. Basically, you had to go sequentially. Yeah, I know. But Do the whole damned hour if you made a mistake. Right, yeah, but, right. but 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 now like computers. Like a letter. You right, know, but, on a but computers have only yeah. have only basically replicated what film used to. Do. But of course, okay, it's that's not, interesting. I hadn't realized that. Yeah, right. You know, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. But, but in a way, it's much more flexible, of course, yeah, and it's uh, much easier than not having to splice it. Like yeah, you, right. Like yeah. splice and re-splice and. Put Literally splice, yeah. Physically Absolutely. splice. Physically, uh, yeah. sort of like splice. So you got thing. off and running in London and everything. Uh, one of the things we want to make sure, we got two clips, right, okay. that you brought in. And I'm, I don't know if it's a little too premature yet, but maybe we could show. You no, have yeah. one clip. Right. Would it be appropriate or you want to add a little bit more about, because no, you're now yeah. getting into the actual filmmaking. Right. So so right. Right. And so we maybe. don't want to forget about the screenplay that you and Corlina no, put absolutely. together. In at fact, the end. we got to make sure we absolutely. get that. Don't let me not get that in. <laughs> no, 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 okay? no, don't worry. As soon as we'll show the... Maybe we'll show the first clip. You think you know, we could, wait, about yeah. now? Maybe you could, as they say, set it up. What's yeah, the but, clip well, basically, the first, the first clip is. Oh, like and we want to just say, if I could say, you're, you're, you're doing, you're, you're ending up doing films like Argeno or Argeno or that the follow well, the, 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 uh, well, basically, I'm sort of like, I make. Horror uh, films and uh, and 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 that, a, a certain genre that you seem to have gotten very involved right, with. Right, I mean, so it's like you know, I would call it more like cinema of the imagination. For, for cinema me, of the imagination. For yeah, me, somebody so because, because you in a way, horror film. Right, know, and I mean, good. which is a, which is great. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> great right, that's, pretty, that's pretty high order. Yeah, of great company to be. You know, yeah, of course, yeah. you know, I'm really pleased about that. One. Yeah, right. Well, because I I think they saw that in a way, although although my my films can fall into the you know. If you had to to put them in a box, mm -hmm. they would have to go into the the horror genre horror. because of in a way that's the box that they that they sort of like would fit. Yeah, they better. put everything in boxes. Uh, yeah, yeah. But in a way, uh, you know, the people that saw the similarities of Bergman, it's like you know, I actually for me they're very personal movies. Okay. And I don't think horror needs to be stupid or shallow. Okay. In a way, you can say a lot of. You know, a lot of really there serious stuff in horror movies. Of, currently, there seems to be a lot of thing about vampires for some reason. Right. They, well, why, yeah, why, they, why? I don't understand quite why that is, but it has it has probably has something to do with the markets right. that what people are interested in Absolutely. and what they yeah, are. Yeah, and you, know, and you said something in the control when we were getting ready about anticipatory danger or dissipatory well, yeah, but, anxiety I, or something absolutely. that's loose in the sit in the world now. Absolutely, and that's something uh, you could. Uh, Absolutely. Use in as fact, a uh, load star, uh, yeah. in, in fact, you know, horror movies historically they always do much better at the box office when people are having more more a more difficult time. Like M. Mm, well, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or Fritz Lang. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Stuff, yeah. I mean, it's just like, and, yeah. and the, most of the time they do reflect the concerns of the the era. Yeah. Like you right. know, in the fifties you had all the, the scare of the atomic bomb, and uh, that's true. And then you had the the communist. That's still there with me. Right. But go ahead. Yeah, uh, and yeah. no, uh, uh, but but in a way, it's like you know now yeah. now basically all these fears have been have been put in one big sort of like fear of the you know in a way horror also uh, is yeah, always it, about it, the, yeah. the fear of the other. Right? That's right. That's and right. the fear of the other. Yeah. Yeah. is always a thing that is very relevant in society. Because right. Whatever it is, one day we can be a, a, afraid of like someone of another race. Yeah. Another day we can be afraid of someone of another religion. Yeah. Another day we can be afraid of someone that has got a different political ideology. But in all cases, we're going to be afraid. And exactly. And there's a lot of free-floating angst in the um, world. Absolutely. And a lot of it has to do with economics, I think, too. Absolutely. Because that's the thing there, right. Absolutely. Okay, and so, and so that's got to do it. So anyway, you have a clip, right? I guess about four minutes or right, something. Right, yeah. The, the, the it's sort of an introduction to your work or some of right. your work? Right, I mean, the first clip is basically Maybe a collection of very, it's various clips from some of my movies. Mm -hmm. So that in a way it sort of gives uh, people more of an idea of the type of thing that I do. Okay. And uh, so we can start with that one. It's, it's sort of like it's from from my feature film, Dark Waters, and from various other short movies These that are I make. We can get down to the feature films that you've done and everything, and there's a recent one that you're doing a new screenplay. Yes. So we're talking again with Mariano Beno, 
Bueno. Bueno. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, we're going to show that clip. So maybe we can set up and run that first clip then, please, um, in, in, the, uh, in, the, uh, in the studio, in the control room. Here we go. I need to reach the convent tonight. Oh. Are you afraid of death, lady? I am. My answer is no. I'm the next to be. Take you for free. Okay, um, okay, that was interesting. And that was beautiful. I I it's a little hard to see with the bright lights no, here exactly. and so forth. And that was a series of pieces that you yes. had done, or something. Yes, it was from, from four. Beautiful from camera work and so forth. It oh, seemed to me as I could see it. I'm looking forward to seeing it in the uh, actual on the film. You know that we're going right. to air. 
but it was a series of things, and you were the director and the writer for, and the right. screen. And the, so the what, the what, what were we looking at? Was, the, that the well the was that a compilation? Was that a compilation of things from a couple of films, or what from was three, that? From four different movies. Four different films. Yes. You had pieces. It seemed to have a sort of continuity with the right. music yeah, and yeah, that kind it, of it thing. It was edited. I mean, basically, it was my. Did show you put it together? Right? Yes. You put it together yeah. recently, or yes, you, yes, yeah. 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 So it's sometimes hard to link it up when you got three different films and you're trying to link them together. You have to. Well, I, mean, I, I, I tried to choose sort of pieces that in a way. Do so you do the editing do. yourself? Yes. And uh, where do you start? Do you, is it still you need a property when you're doing a program, uh, a film? You need to have a, the writing is really important. Right. Absolutely. In it fact, is. now still yeah, yeah. always has been since All Casablanca. Or ab uh, well, yeah. since much before Casablanca. Before, <laughs> Casablanca okay. In a way, it's you know what like I mean, though. Absolutely. The writing's important, and you are a writer. Right, and okay. I mean, uh, yeah. it's like. You know, uh, and in fact, now we, we'll, we might as well do a non-linear program okay, as well. Okay, the same yeah. way as, as, teach, as, teach, as, teach, as yeah. the non-linear sort of like yeah. anything we were talking about before. Yeah. So we'll talk about the future first, then yeah. we, we'll go back yeah, right, right. to talking about about the past and Maybe talking we'll about the writing. The Pleistocene. Yeah. Right, yeah, exactly. Right. I mean, I know some <laughs> regular verbs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, so mm. talking about the writing. I mean, mm. the one thing I'm really excited yeah. about at the mm. moment is that you know I. Collaborated with Carolina Cataldi yeah, yeah. before on another mm -hmm. screenplay we we co-wrote. Uh, Which was uh, that? Uh, it, it's a it's a, it's a movie, the, a three D movie that uh -huh. in the end we wrote the original 3D. story. Yeah, three D. We wrote the original story. It's been and, produced. Uh, yeah, it, okay. it's in post production now. Okay. Yeah. So we we wrote the original story and uh, and basically the movie is based on our original story, which we 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 thought was a. Definitely a great concept. Was it we was it was the to story totally conjured out of fantasy? Oh yeah, absolutely. Or it wasn't experience of life. It wasn't well, autobiographical. No, no, but, but, yeah, when, you no know. everything is. There's always yeah, a, there's an, always a, that, yeah. an autobiographical yeah, right, element right, 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 yeah, because yeah. in a way. But you know what I mean? Oh, absolutely. But yeah. when people tell you, you know. Write what you know. I mean, mm. sometimes they're confused with write what you see. I mean, yeah, no, right. no, write what you know can actually also mean the write what you know inside. Yeah. So right. sometimes you can make you can you yeah. can do ET. I mean, I always I always maintain that ET is as personal to Spielberg okay. as like any sort of like auteur film that you can you can find, uh -huh. except that because it's about a little alien, people cannot see that. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. And uh, so uh -huh. so we, yeah. so of course there were elements when we were writing it with Carolina, yeah. there were elements that. There were that they obviously came from our experience, from yeah. like our fears, from yeah. our whatever, you know, from yeah. from the way we see reality. Yeah. And you know, the, we we came up from we came up. And you with got with the whole range of visual imagery and things you can and audio imagery. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, like a you Michelangelo would have loved it, wouldn't you? Well, to have the ability well, yeah, to well, conjure and put it uh, up. Uh, yeah. every, every, everyone yeah. always says yeah. that if Shakespeare was alive now, yeah, he yeah, would oh, be he'd go away, he'd go he would be making movies. He yeah, would be writing sure. the stuff. But, I but mean, the writing is important. Oh no, no, but the I writing. Had a, is I had a friend of mine, Alexandra Fuller, good writer, real good writer. She was from Zimbabwe. She wrote, and she said, I asked her. She's had best-selling books and everything, and uh, I asked her, should writing be, she said, I said, is it cinemagraphic? You're writing, and she, she novels, and so, she, she thought all writing should be cinemagraphic. Right. You know, because the cinemagraphic is, 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 is a multi-sensory right. kind of uh, reading of an environmental thing that right. is not the right. same as, you know what I mean, with, right. the, with the linear thing. Mitch stands oh, on a headland I mean, in, in, in Hawaii and takes him eight pages to describe what you'd experience all at once, multisensorially. Right, right, right. What Absolutely. a rich tapestry Absolutely. reality! And, uh, and I mean, in a way, the, the difficult thing, the difficult thing between you know translating literature into into film, yeah, right. is that is the fact that you know there's a, a great sort of like a. Uh, yeah. The, the, well, that's the, the, all we had, except no, painting. Absolutely, yeah, but yeah. the difference is that, in a way, uh, in 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 a film, yeah, uh, you know, there's many things that can happen at the same time. Yeah, like, right. I can, all I can at be once. Sitting here, all at once, like can, life. Right. Yeah. In 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 a, in in literature, mm -hmm. you know, b just like because of the medium, you can only write one sentence at that's a time. That's right. It's linear. So, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. and so you can, but no, but also it's like the the way you, in thir three seconds you can experience so many things in a shot. That in in a movie in a <laughs> book you'd have to have an encyclopedia. In a book, basically, you got right. to write. Okay, there's a window with a bright yeah, right. light. There's a exactly. guy sitting That's in front Michener of it. Describing. So you see it one at a time. It took him eight right. pages to describe, you know, the sun and the bird right. and the scene exactly. and the feeling and the salt air and everything. Eight pages to describe 
in a mon nanosecond, you experience all at once. Absolutely. Like and, uh, when you walk through life. Yeah, 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 but, but you still have to have a property. Absolutely. Still, writing is still important. No, but Dialogue is important. R writing or is it important to your oh filming? Oh, my God, absolutely. Do you do things spontaneous? Do you no, have no, no, uh, no, do you no. have script and everything? Oh, and you have absolutely. A, a, a I mean, outline? And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I yeah. mean, we, we sort of like, you know, we definitely, I mean, especially uh, uh, now, for example, talking again about about the... the the new script, I mean, apart from the one yeah, we talk did before. Yeah, talk to it if you want. Yeah, yeah We I mean, want to make yeah, sure you get that other clip in. But we're getting yes, to talking yeah, no, about well, your recent screenplay. Yeah, no, Carolina, I just yeah. wanted to say that basically, you know, we we co-wrote another script with Carolina yeah. Cataldi da Sony again. And, yeah, um, right. A good, and, great actress, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, great she, painter. What's that fellow she yeah. worked with? Uh, Argino? Or? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, but she worked with a lot of... She, oh, what's yeah. his name? How do you pronounce Argento. Argento. Yeah, He's yeah. famous in terms of these kind of genre films. Absolutely. But, but, yeah. but, but you know, fortunately for, for, for Carolina, she worked with a, a lot of other... Yeah. Uh, and also she's... a. uh she was she, surrounded by opera in her early life. Can I you mean, imagine she, uh, being raised in a house uh, no, full of opera divas? Well, I cannot divas? imagine it, but <laughs> absolutely. Like, you know, <laughs> oh, absolutely. I mean, but, but that definitely, yeah. when we were writing together, yeah. that definitely sort of like made, you know, the, the, way, the way she grew up uh -huh. and uh, the, the influence, mm. that, that great background that her she has. Her father was in opera, wasn't he? Absolutely. Yeah, right, he's yeah, a great, yeah. he's, yeah, great. He's, he's a great manager, opera, yeah, yeah. opera director. No, he's an opera director. A director even, yeah. And okay, he's, yeah. he's absolutely, he, like he was. What a great place to grow up. Absolutely. Yeah. And Hiding I mean, she, she, she was right. on stage when she was three. Yeah, right. So, <laughs> so in a way, yeah. she, she'd, been, she'd been in show business. And you've known each other for a while and you're collaborating on this. Absolutely. What's the recent thing? You said you did a recent thing. We just finished a supernatural thriller. Okay. Supernatural thriller. Yes. And Which we just finished. We are co-producers on them as well on the movie and at the moment it's just like we just finished the script. The script is ready. We're looking for co-producers and finances. So Anyway, just like I'll get my plug in here. Yeah, well, <laughs> while get I'm here, the plug in. Yeah. They're, ba they're basically, you know, obviously, yeah. we, we're just starting now looking to. Right. So, so like, but it the begins with the property. Absolutely. And I mean, so if they, there'll be the contact details and everything, if there's yeah. anyone interested, yeah. they can okay. get in touch with well, me. Well, maybe, maybe it could be. You, That's you good. Know. Are you uh, good at that? Is there are the skills that are needed for production to get the production, get the people, the backing, and the things you need to do it? Is that something that you handle yourself, or do you have well, to I mean, get I've, somebody I've, to help I've, you I've do that? I've done it. Very often, Creative people have a hard time with absolutely, that side, that business absolutely. Side. But I mean, you know, I've done it before, mm -hmm. but you know, by necessity more mm -hmm. than uh, more mm -hmm. than for any other reason. The mother reason. of invention, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, in but in some ways, I also think that because filmmaking is so, you know, the the, the filmmaking is so interlinked. All the departments of filmmaking yeah, are right. so interlinked that you cannot really you cannot really look at any at anything in isolation. Yeah. You cannot look at the script in isolation if you do mm. not know where the script is going how right. the script is going to end up being realized. Yeah. Because most of the time that's that's what the you know, having the experience of making things happen on set. When you write your thing, that, your screenplay, are you saying the sun was at eight o'clock. Are you are you writing cinemagraphically in terms I of mean, what we, you present to the person so they can not have to use their imagination uh, to the, see it, or a seascape or the, the geography, well, the setting, uh, the time frame? All of that's part right. of what you're presenting rather than just dialogue. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, right. the, the, the trick with screenwriting, which is always, which it's is a why skill, why it's a absolutely. Skill. I mean, and it's, it's becoming like it more and more time. relevant to a multimedia world, absolutely. don't you think? Yeah. And, uh, and and in a way, it's like you know. Screenwriting, uh, mm. everyone, the, the the sort of screenwriters always compare it to haiku because in a way, haiku, yeah, be, interesting, be, yeah. because in a way you've got to put the describe Very the maximum yeah. the maximum amount of information mm -hmm. with the minimum amount of, amount of words mm -hmm. because you only have, well, today you know today is about 100 pages. I mean mm -hmm. the, the traditional screen screenplay is. 120 pages long, mm -hmm. but 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 these days, apart from like the big epic movies, yeah. most movies tend to be shorter, yeah. and like especially the screenplays, people have they they they, they sort of like they've lost the patience for what reading about, too much. You know? What about like the Great Gatsby? Or somebody would write Fitzgerald, or people would write a novel, and then they would translate it into movie, and usually the author got upset with what the screenwriter uh, would yeah, do I to mean, it. I, that problem. Well, is it does the does the muse translate from literature, good literature, good writing well, to movie, uh, and uh, what what is the dynamic no, there it, that it, you it realize in real terms in the real world? I think it does translate absolutely, mm -hmm. uh, but you know people have got to be aware of the fact that they're two different disciplines, and in a way, in the translation, and you might have some pretty big egos involved there. Absolutely, yeah, right? absolutely. That's a problem. But, uh, the, the problem. 
uh, Naples. No, where's the town you're from? Genoa. No, what's the town? Naples. You're from? Yeah. Naples. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Big, yeah, yeah. Chaos coming around the corner. Yeah, no, that, yeah. absolutely. But, you know but in a way, I, it's as creative. Long, yeah. Right. And as long as people realize that, in a way, the uh, you know, the, in the translation from literature to uh, to sort of like film, screenplay, uh, you, you definitely film. need to adapt certain things because yeah. certain things will never, you know, and the world a lot of yeah. no, a lot of novels can can be in the character's head. Yeah, right. Where basically in a screenplay you can only write what you see and what you hear. Right. That's so, what Alexandra Fuller said. All writing should be cinematographic. Right. The, the world's moving now to multimedia Absolute, because they're, they're 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 putting things on their cell phone. They're, right. they're streaming the multimedia to their cell phone. Uh, it's, it's like when you walk through the absolutely, world. Absolutely, but but I mean the the the, the, the sort of cross fertilization of, mm. of media mm -hmm. is like you know now ju just be becomes a mind because mm. uh, because once again with the, you know with the Carolina Cataldi Tassoni as well. Mm. Uh, We've been invited to participate in this show that is actually a, a theatre uh -huh. a theater show. It's just one night on the 23rd of November. 23rd of November 2010? Yes, yeah, so it's a Dixon place. In uh, New York or what? Yeah, it's, it's, on the lo it's, a, uh, uh, it's on the Lower East Side. It's okay, Dixon yeah, place yeah. and it's a, a thing called uh, uh, Fear Mongers. Uh -huh. Far that, Side Chats About Horror. And what do you mean? It's what's the it's? Is that a play uh, it, or is well, it a, a that, that, movie that's a, script? Is it what? No, no, no. And, oh. and that's where what I'm saying. Where yeah. in a way it's a hybrid form okay, because yeah. it will happen on stage, mm -hmm. so it's a live event. Okay. But it will be part chat show and part mm -hmm. lecture of like pieces. Very good think. educational thing. Would you let me know about that? Oh, absolutely. It, I want to be there if I can be there. Oh yeah. I'll be, I'll I want be, to be there when you put that yeah. on. You know, <laughs> and I want you to see you break every bone in your body and everything. I want to know about that. Yeah. No. So it's. The 23rd yeah. of November yeah. for people at Nixon Place. 23rd of November place. here in downtown. Uh, yeah, yeah, and it's it's called Fear Mongers. Fear Yeah, Fireside Chats About Horror. Fireside Chats About Horror. And, uh, sounds and great. We'll, the you know, I'll, I'll Theater. Be, I'll yeah. be there on the 23rd, and Carolina Cadalti Tassoni is going to be there on the 23rd, and it's uh, it's basically this uh, this this. this uh, uh, I want to put that in my book today before you right. leave. Okay, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, yeah, and uh, 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 you know, the, it's been organized and it's sort of conducted and uh, organized uh, by uh, Clay Chapman. Clay who, Chapman. Yeah, I mean, and yeah. Uh, you know, he's uh, he's organized this, which I think is a, is a great idea. Uh -huh. It's a very novel way uh -huh. of putting an old format in a way into a sort of a different. And venue. then it could feed back into the final product. Absolutely. I mean, outtakes from it or something. Absolutely. So okay, now, what are, you're too damned interesting. I could oh, talk thank to you for hours and hours and <laughs> well, hours. Well, I'll have to come back. This has to be the beginning of a <laughs> beautiful I'll, friendship. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll have to come back. <laughs> All right. Or maybe you could come over here and get involved, maybe. You know, that's oh, another issue. Yeah. But anyway, I, I, the trouble is, is uh, the time again. And right. one thing is, I know you got another clip other than the okay. one you just showed, right. right? And that was a compilation of four different things and everything. Right. Now you have another, I think it might be a little bit longer, I'm not it's sure. Fi it's five and, five five and a half minutes. Okay, it's a few minutes, but it's, could you in a certain, uh, what I want to make sure is we get it in. Okay. So maybe you could set that up, right. and how does it fit in with all this that we've been talking about okay, well, and so I mean, forth in a it's, way? It's give a lesson, teach, <laughs> teach, like you'd be doing right. down we'll, at we'll that we'll thing do on the we'll, we'll create a new series. Yeah, pretend teaching, you're, you're teaching with Harold and Mariano. Yeah, that's right. It actually sounds good. NY School of Media, yeah. It actually sounds like a good, a good maybe, title. Maybe we could do she a little song. Should we do a little song? Uh, uh, well, you know, like, yeah. yeah, why not? No, fine. Talk, talk, talk uh, to the so, film clip. So the, the next clip is from my feature film, Dark Waters. Yeah, that's a uh, film. Now talk about that a little bit. Dark uh, well, Waters. it was shot in Ukraine, and okay. I mean, that, that, oh, that's the one you had yeah, all that trouble. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that one would take would take another <laughs> yeah, I know, ten you shows take to ten get through. Shows, yeah. uh, but basically, this clip that we're just about to, uh, to see. It's like you know the the character comes from England, yeah. and he's thrown in this world that is like complete madness. It's vaguely, it's basically a nondescript Eastern European place. Okay. It's not a real place, uh -huh. and basically, it, this is the the beginning of the of the journey mm -hmm. where she finds herself on this bus in this mad, completely mad universe, mm -hmm. and she's going towards this land where basically there's no electricity. There's like these these nuns uh -huh. in this convent that keep a secret, sort of like under the you know under the convent. We know. It's East Europe, do we? Uh, well, do we, 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 know we only know from frame? people. Is so it like shock therapy time, or do we know the time? Uh, is it anything documentary about it, or is it no, trying no, no, to be no, not? No, 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 no. It's, 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 it's very, it's very, it's very of the imagination. Oh, 
absolutely. But it does. Uh, but you, you do get the, that Eastern European flavor. Anyone who's been to Eastern Europe yeah. will recognize some of the, the atmosphere. Uh -huh. We'll recognize some of the faces of the characters, uh -huh. and we'll definitely recognize some of the behavior of uh -huh. the people. Oh, you know? Okay, okay. So, and you actually shot this film. You had all kinds of trouble doing it, I guess. Oh, absolutely. That's another story. But why don't we set it up in the booth then and see if we can't run that film. Okay. Maybe we could run that film now, then, all right. if we could. So why don't we do, what's it called? The, this Dark is, Waters. Dark it's Waters. A, this is a clip from Dark Waters, and we'll run that now then. And this takes place in East Europe. So... If we could run that film now, then please, I hope. If not, maybe we could talk until they yeah, get no, it going. Yeah, yeah, actually, because, you know, maybe. Yeah, so um, okay. they're having a little bit of trouble. <laughs> well, they're having a little trouble. We're going to have to just say a few words yeah, until they right, get it no, going. No, absolutely. Well, I mean, but, well basically. Roll the clip right now. Okay, we're going to oh, roll the you. clip now, then. Okay, so then that'll be it. Oh, here we go, Dark Waters. suggest you come out here as soon as possible. I've tried to sort things out as promised, but I don't think I'm getting anywhere. This place is unbelievable. There's no electricity and none of the comforts you would associate with 20th century living. But you should see the brown sack they make me wear. The height of fashion for auto-flagellating pilgrims and saints alike. I can assure you. I'll tell you I'll never complain about London again. See you soon, Teresa. Your friend from the land before time. <laughs>
Okay, that's good. That's the one that you shot in Ukraine yes, or yes. something. Yeah, and I yeah. read some about the difficulties you had because they pulled the rug out from under you. You had to do all oh, kinds yeah, of yeah, I mean, make we'll, we'll, workarounds we'll, in order we'll, to we'll get just it done. Try, yeah, we'll just try to get uh, try to get a couple of uh, episodes before yeah. <laughs> of of what happened before before we finish. I mean, it's sort of like you know, it, it, it was just a, from the moment we 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 landed mm. in uh, in Ukraine, it was just like you know, first of all from the airport to. To Odessa, we we actually went to Odessa, mm -hmm. but we they sort of like they said to us, to us, okay, go to Moscow, mm. and then you know what the best thing That's to do, haul, right? right? You know what the best thing to do is like get a, you know, we'll come and get you with this big bus, and, yeah. right? so we, and they said, oh, it will only take a few hours. Yeah, we stuck on the bus for 24 hours <laughs> yeah. with the, yeah. with the, the you know the the actors that are come from. Uh, from from England, sort yeah. of like on the bus, and suddenly it was a well. I need to go to the toilet, you know. Mm -hmm. She said, yeah, sure. and they sort of like mm. they they stopped the bus by the side of this. You know, did you see the did you see the the, the <laughs> basically the, the road? Did oh. you see the road with that, all uh, the yeah, telephone yeah. poles? Right. Yeah. 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 Imagine 24 hours of that. <laughs> yeah, right. The yeah. landscape, yeah, the right. the most monotonous landscape yeah. you've ever seen in your life. Really? Yeah. It was uh, like you know basically nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you, you just couldn't see anything. Mm. You didn't know where you were. There was no sense of like changing mm. geography. Mm. It was like, and all of a sudden, like by the side of the road, and it's like, okay, well, go <laughs> behind yeah, go. the bushes yeah, there. Go. And it was if just like, you know, the and, uh, yeah. and there was a, uh, oh, you know, is there any food? Mm. No, 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 we're not supposed to feed you until mm. you actually start working. Uh, so now, uh, but, but, uh, but, you know, but say anything, anything to drink. What year is Mil this? What year were you uh, there? It was, it, this was 94. 94, it was soon after the implosion. Uh, yeah, it was, yeah. It, was, it was soon after. The Ukraine was independent then? Or it no? just just just, just, into, just become independent. Oh, what a difficulty! Oh, yeah, I mean, the breaking but, up. Yeah, yeah but, but the anyway, Soviet thing was falling apart. Absolutely. Yeah. In, in fact, that happened in post-production. We yeah. went to Moscow. Actually, yeah. I went to Moscow. Yeah. And uh, because basically, by the time the post-production, we did some post-production in England. Mm -hmm. Then, then sort of like you know, because of the, you know, part of the money was coming from most of the money was coming from Russia. Mm -hmm. So we had to finish post-production in Moscow. Mm -hmm. So I went to Moscow by myself, and I found myself in Moscow. Uh, at the time when when Yeltsin uh, yeah. decided to storm the parliament, and I'm I'm just sort of like you know I'm sitting in this, well let's call it a hotel, but I don't know where they put me because they put me in this place that looks like a refuge or something. It must have been really under real extreme. That was an extreme period of transformation. Oh, I mean, but, Sociologically, yeah. economically, everything it was huge absolutely. transformation. I mean, it's you can uh, feel it in the air and everything. Oh, when you're Because you're I mean, sensitive, yeah. No, but, yeah. No, but, but also it was very evident in a way, like you know they that come from. From years and years, for seventy years of like, really, uh, that's the first time when I realized what the term culture shock really meant. Yeah, because right. that's the only time in my life. I mean, I moved around. Yeah, London, places, England, but, Western Europe. Right, yeah, that's but, a whole but, other but world. But in a way, yeah. from Naples to London. To be honest, no, I didn't really, I, I didn't really have to, to have too much of a re readapting to do right. to actually fit right in. Yeah. But in Russia, I mean, you would discuss certain concepts, mm. and you realize that basically, if you're born in a, in a in a world where basically I was born in a world where I knew that to come here, all I had to do is buy a plane ticket and I could come here. Mm. They were born in a world where basically you needed papers to go from like the Bronx to Manhattan. Uh -huh. So, yeah. so for them, the concept yeah. of choice uh -huh. was a very difficult concept to get at the time. Uh -huh. I would discuss, well, you know, but you, you say you love Moscow, but have you really chosen to be here? Oh uh -huh. yes, you know, but how can you choose if, uh -huh. uh, up until last year, you couldn't even move from Moscow, uh -huh. even if you wanted to? Yeah. But well, basically, for me, it's like you know, I can choose to be in a place yeah. because, in in a way, I, you know, it's I was born. Freedom, yeah. Well, I was See the born new book Freedom that's out now. Have you seen it yet? Oh it's no, good no, no. Good new, look for it. Right, Real right, good right, writer. Right. It's just out. It's re it's but, but it in the Wall Street Journal about the human condition in right. a very big Scott template. A really good writer, new right. writer. They had him on the cover of Time magazine uh, right. couple, as a as a as a as a genuine world class oh, writer. But they, they had a review in the Wall Street Journal today. It was really interesting. Okay, well, it's I'm called Freedom. Okay, I'll okay, that's the thing. I'll definitely so look you're at, talking about right. freedom. Yeah, yeah no, absolutely. And. Mm. Uh, so in a way that, that that was very interesting because uh, like the, suddenly you would you would have conversations with people that in a way are on a completely different planet in uh -huh. many ways. Yeah. But in in a way and I'm it glad. Was, yeah. Uh, yeah. In a way I'm glad I and did. And transformation. It because, uh, it's like it's like in in evolution. In evolution, you have steady state. You have absolutely. a system, and then there's a quickening, and then there's a what they call there's punctuated a, equilibrium. Absolutely. It's a new thing developing, absolutely. and we were we're living through that kind of a period and, and, now and, uh, on planet Earth. Are you optimistic for the human? Problem? I mean, I, 
I, I've got to say I'm optimistic only because in some ways I sort of tend to be. Uh -huh. uh, oh, I see. Yeah, uh, yeah, but in, in some ways I sort of like, you know, I understand that there are, the, the, the problem I think is that when you talk about evolution is that in some ways the, the, we, we, because of technology and because yeah. of the way we've actually managed to, to in a way, accelerate evolution in a way that... Yes, I, I, that, absolutely, that, exponential. Right, but I don't know if, mm. if the human being as, a, as an animal was yeah. actually made for it. That's always a problem uh, in evolution because you had Australopithecine, you right. studied anthropology, four million years right. ago there was a consciousness. Right. Then there came Homo habilis, that was right. an advance, and then there came 200,000 years ago, Homo sapiens. Right. We came. And now we may be coming to the end right. of that uh, and we're coming to a new relationship in the universe. Right. Uh, yeah, but, but that the transformation you're talking about is something that's going to apply Absolutely. to the whole human society Absolutely. in a punctuated equilibrium sense. We're major, major, coming to the end of a birth canal. We're coming into a new relationship. Absolutely. Do you and understand what I'm yeah, saying? But and, I'm and the anticipation agree. of that could be stillborn, maybe? Or whatever, I mean, but there's uh, a lot of anxiety, free-floating angst in absolutely. the world now, uh, justifiably so, particularly in terms of the larger order of development of I mean, things. I, 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 and you're tapping into that. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And I yeah. think uh, basically the 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 only difference is that never, I think, never in in history, mm -hmm. you know, in millions of years of sort of like of evolution, well, evolution has been for our species. Well, I mean, yeah. but even yeah. in evolution in general, yeah, basically, right. evolution was never driven by technolo technological like advance. Now. Not like human no, to but, human. You know, yeah. but like uh, but when the Homo sapiens was, was around, like, yeah. you know, in a way there was, yes, you know, they invented tools, yeah. they invent, but the, the inventions were so slow and gradual oh, okay. that in a way people could, could, could uh, have time, you know, they would have time to adapt. Yeah. And they would have time to, their brain now would have time to adapt. Now we're going through that all at I mean, once. Seriously, in 20 yeah. years, the world has changed so much. Yeah, right, and it's picking up the pace of change. And, and basically it's- And now uh, they got this economic thing. They haven't got an economic system that it relates to freedom. They right. haven't got one in place because all the institutions are right. pr predicated or built within a context of a certain scarcity. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it's now, but the, the context of the future requires is non-scarcity, perhaps as an ontologic understanding. They can't adjust, they're having trouble adjusting. They don't have a system that the future requires. Absolutely. So science fiction Absolutely. time is really in, in, in vogue and, well, and angst and so forth because our intellectuals haven't presented a, 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 a vision that the future requires for the whole planet absolutely. and the ecology. And, and because in a Interesting way... Interesting time to be alive and participate. De oh, definitely, absolutely. Very scary, that, like the, well, like very, the very Chinese scary. said, spare us from living in such well, time. Well, you know, but, but the, from my point of view, in a way, it's like, you know, it, it taps into, into human fear. Which right, is always, and that's what which you're is, tapping into Which is into very good for film. me in that sense. And the new screen And, uh, and oh, yeah, absolutely. Mm. And, you know, and emotions, mm -hmm. which, you know, which in a way sort of like are always underestimated in how much they drive human beings. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, that's another thing that definitely the you know the the, the new supernatural thrill that we've written it definitely taps into and you know the new so, piece thing you would call yeah, it. Yeah, okay, well they're running the credits now. That's good. Thanks a lot. It really You're pleasure most me. The beginning You're of welcome. a beautiful friendship. Thank you very much. And we got to stay and get more in touch with one another. Absolutely. Thank you for being. I'm glad Corlina introduced us. And pleasure for you to have the perceptions then of uh, of um, Mariano uh, Bayo. Bayo. Be no, you have to say it. How do you say it? Beino. Beino. You have to say it. Beino. <laughs> okay. And he's you say obviously it's better than of, me. A, of a Polish <laughs> persuasion. I mean, that's a joke. Anyway, it's a pleasure to have him as our guest. Uh, thank you for viewing. We invite you to tune We'll come back again uh, tomorrow. Uh, Mariano, thanks a lot. Really great You're pleasure at the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you for viewing. We'll be coming back tomorrow. Thank you. So we got a lot in. and. Uh, there's really good clips, and we'll all see how they look on the on the small screen. I'm sure know, they look great. Like and I'm looking forward. What's the date? November. November 24th. November 23rd. Uh, 23rd. At Dixon Place. Dixon and, uh, that Place. will be that will be an interesting event.